Hi, my name is Kyle Tully. I'm a sales engineer at Pervasive Software. Today we're going to be looking at an integration between uh, Salesforce.com and SAP. In this particular integration, we're going to be changing this opportunity to closed one. We're going to be inserting that record as a sales order into SAP. We're going to capture the response from SAP with the sales order number, and we're going to update this, this opportunity and fill in the order number in this field here. I'll refresh this page and I'll change the, uh, the status, the stage, to closed one. What we're looking at here is the process that is actually initiating this, this integration. We're using our Salesforce.com web service API connector and our connectivity through SAP BAPIs. So I'm going to manually kick this process off, although in production this can be automated um, very easily. So after the stage is set to closed one, the integration will take place and the, the data movement will occur from Salesforce.com into SAP. And then the sales order unique ID number that's created in SAP is going to be captured from the BAPI response and we're using that to update this, this record. So if I refresh my page now, our SAP order number should appear in this field here. And there it is. So I'm going to go ahead and take this order number and copy it and I'm going to enter this into this SAP user interface and we can see the, the order inside of SAP. Here we are in our SAP client. I'll go ahead and paste in the order number that I retrieved from the uh, salesforce.com opportunity. I'll execute the search. And here we see the sales order along with the, the accompanying line item that we saw in salesforce.com. So the, the accompanying account as well as the, the line item. 